the same. Hey guys, so today is Monday, April 23rd. I'm in the car right now with my cousin Jacqueline from New York. You can kind of see Hi. her. And we are on our way to the Century City Mall and I am going to be meeting up with another YouTuber. You guys may know her, you may not. Her name is Elle Levy and she also does amazing beauty videos, product reviews, tutorials. She has great content. If you haven't checked her out, you guys definitely should. I'll leave all of her links in the description box below. So she reached out to me about a week ago and she let me know that she's going to be in LA for the weekend and we decided that we wanted to do some sort of collab. Then we thought of a really funny video idea where we're gonna go to Nordstrom, Sephora, possibly Bloomingdale's and we are going to test out product samples in store and attempt to do a full face of makeup with them. So instead of getting samples to take home and swatching all the products that they have in store, we decided to try to swatch them on our faces and see if they say anything to us. And I think that Sephora might have a problem. I think that Sephora also is not the kindest when it comes to allowing people to film in store. So we'll see how that goes down. But to me, it's like, what are the samples out for if they're not for actually testing on your face? Like, I can't really tell from a finger swatch how well a shadow is going to perform on the lid or how well a foundation is going to look on my actual skin because the skin on my hands is typically drier and not the same as it would be on my face. So, might as well go in with a bare face and test everything out and see how everything goes. So, I'm on my way there now and I will check back in with you guys when I get there. You said the same thing I told ya My eyes are clear, there's no secret I wanna know, was it serious? I need to clear, my best friend Is it easy to show? Definitely wanna try these Never tried our teeth before is this Artiste? Yes. Yeah, this is Artiste. But so how is gross, gross is it to actually pick up these testers and put this on my this face? It's kind of gross to put on the face. <laughs> I mean, maybe this isn't a good idea. I, I don't know, know how great of an idea that is. Like, I would love to try out a makeup eraser, but like, they don't have a tester for that. Look, yeah. they started carrying Sigma. Oh my god, I know. I love that Nordstrom's carrying Sigma now. I can't live without that, by the way. The, the, the spa mat? It's great. I brought some of my Sigma brushes. Okay. So, well, fail. Nordstrom fail. kicked us out. Instantly. They, instantly. We were in there for maybe five minutes. Like, she didn't even... We didn't even try any products. We yet. didn't try a single product. We were looking for a makeup wipe to take our makeup off. Yeah. And they're like, sorry, ladies. We heard that you're filming for your YouTube channel. And unfortunately, you have to go through corporate and get it pre-approved. And then they... I don't know. I don't know how fancy... I don't understand. Like, why is know. it such a big deal? If I was to post a story on Snapchat... Yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I don't understand why it's become such a big deal. Actually, the other lady didn't have a problem with it. The first no, one. you know what I think happened? She told she her. She told her. Yeah. I think that she ratted she us out. Her. And I, I have so. a feeling that Sephora and Bloomingdale's and everywhere else we go is going to have a problem as well. But we're just going to try as many places as we can Maybe and we can see. Do this, uh, really fast. Try to like yeah. Get as many Honestly, as we can on. what what we what we should maybe do is take video on our phones because I feel like it's more discreet than having an actual camera out. Okay. So if the quality changes, I apologize, but we want to try and get this video up whatever way that we can. Yeah. We're going to try Bloomingdale's now. Let's see what they okay. say. You said the same thing I told ya. My eyes are clear. There's no secret. I want to know. Am I blocking you? No. Wow, my skin feels really good actually. Yeah? Yeah. But I can't really see that it's done anything because it was barely any product. What was the product again? This is the By Terry Cellula Rose Brightening CC Serum in Sunny Flash. Mm. Feels good? It smells so good. My skin feels really good. But I wanted it to kind of tint my skin a little bit, which it didn't. So no, I'm actually, saying I brought a foundation brush to actually try it in the store, if that's okay. So just try it on. Let's see how it wears throughout the day today. Is there also skincare in them? Like, they built in? Okay. 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 Um, I 
you're welcome. Okay. See how that I'm feels. Gonna see how it feels. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I just tested out the Bobbi Brown Serum Concealer. I took it in the shade 5, I think it's like sand or something. I think I'm gonna put some mascara on now. I have my own in my bag. Okay. So what are you gonna try? Mm. No, if you guys wanna do my makeup too. Okay. <laughs> Where'd you get that brush from, Ariana? <laughs> from your bag. Do you like it? Did you bring it? Wow, you're doing great. You're really fast. Well, you gotta work quick, you know? Right? You look amazing, this girl. This looks really good. Did you get your makeup done anywhere? You know? <laughs> just want the woman go. <laughs> it's just one. <laughs> you wanna do the same thing? Use a brush. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really do that with my hands. <laughs> Did you bring yours? Yeah. When you're done. Just get it out of the bag. No. This is like a mess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like intense. This doesn't look bad though. This looks bad, but it's really like, nice. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. easy to work with. I kind of. Wait, what do I do? I didn't so bring my brush. Do you have a bloody brush? No, I'm going to ask. Does anyone watch this? The smile. There they are. This is pretty. Okay, so I don't know if you guys will see on the clip, hopefully we got it on camera, that we actually were told not to film in Sephora too. So then we just switched to our phones and got some footage. So now we're gonna head into Macy's. We're quickly gonna just do highlighter, lipstick, and I think that those are the last two steps that we have. And then we will check in with you and let you know what we think of all the products that we tried today. They have the new Smashbox petal metal highlighters. That is so pretty. That's really pretty. Should we try these? Yes. But which color do we think? Ooh, look at these. What are these? Oils? Ooh. What is Liquid that? Highlight? Shimmer, Shimmer drops. drops. Definitely want to try this one too. I think I'm going to try this one. But it looks like, yeah, okay. I'm going to try this one. Got it. It's my favorite part, the highlight. see anything. Hmm. Trying to get more product maybe? Mm. Hmm. Maybe you need a you need the other shade maybe? Oh yeah, some mist. What if you put mist on the spray and then you dip it into the This is a who does this trick? Someone, Someone does on it. Someone sprays and then right before it's dry. Oh yeah. Now I see it. Now you see it. But it's... That was a good one. Yeah? Yeah, that was smart. Yeah, now it's kind of melting into my skin a little bit. That's pretty. It's not something I don't but love. But I feel like that would take too much work. Yeah, it's not so easy. Because you don't want to have to spray each time. Yeah. 
Okay, so we are at the end of our journey here. We got kicked out of Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. We did well in Bloomingdale's. We were very discreet. Yes, we were good. Where else did we get kicked out of? Sephora. Sephora. Oh, they Sephora. were really strict. Like, they were not nice. the cameras, they were like, you can't do that. Yeah. Macy's was very nice about it. NYX was good. NYX was we good. went into NYX. I got a lip liner just to put something on. We didn't want to do just like any lipstick on the shelf to try because that's just the germ side. Yeah, we don't want to get sick and it's not sanitary. Right. So, I don't know. Overall, not a fan of my base at all. I'm not either of mine. I don't like it. You tried which foundation in the end? I did the Chanel one. Yeah, I tried the La Mer one. Mm -hmm. Not it's a fan. very drying on both of us, right? Yeah. I like. You guys can like that. nothing really blended really mm -hmm. that well over top. Yeah. The Natasha Denona eyeshadows, I think they look nice, but not worth not it. Worth the price. Not worth the, not price. the price. And then the concealers, we both tried different yeah. concealers. Ugh. Those were they're creasing everywhere. I tried a Laura Mercier one too. I'm not sure it, it'll be in my video, but yeah, you guys very, definitely if you want to see different clips of the things that went on, go watch her video because she yeah. got a lot of stuff that I didn't get on camera. And we both tried completely different products. Completely different From foundation products. to concealer to bronzer. We tried different ones so you guys can see like yeah. how they work. I think this was so much fun. I think that this was so much fun too. Like, thanks for doing this with me. Thanks for having me, of course. Of course. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Go over to her channel, thumbs up and subscribe her video as well. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye. The moral of the story is just because the foundation has a higher price tag does not mean that it's better necessarily. So definitely get a sample, try it out. Don't feel shy to get samples of products before you commit to buying them. And don't also don't feel shy about trying products that I literally, we, we had our own makeup brushes. We took them out yeah, of our bags and I was like, them on our faces. So don't be shy.